Hello, this is Nikki in Niagara coming to you from Niagara Falls, Canada. Today I'm going to swatch some new markers and I thought I would bring you along with me to have a look at these. So, um, many of you know that I like doing color by numbers and especially the uh, hatchet heroes uh, type of thing and for those kinds of color by numbers and other ones too you need a wide mm. variety of colors so I'm in the process of uh, collecting some markers and I'm trying different marker sets out to see which ones work the best and which ones I like the best um, right now, my favorite sets of markers are the Stettler 320s and the Crayola Super Tips. So, today, what we're going to have a look at is the Stettler 325s. These have a 1mm tip and they come in just a plastic bag like this that uh, isn't really what you're going to want to keep them in. So I'll be taking them out of here as I swatch them and put, putting them into my uh, my uh, pen holders. So um, what I've done is I've rearranged them, put them in the order that I like and numbered them because they don't have uh, they don't have numbers or names on them. Most, I suppose we could call these kids markers, and uh, most markers like this don't have names. Sometimes we're fortunate enough to have numbers, but we don't have those either. So, um, oh. Let me uh, show you one of these. So as you can see, it is written on there. Oops. I'll try to uh, zoom in on that for you. No, I'll hold it right way. Oh. <laughs> I am going backwards from my camera today. So there we go. And um, the caps come off easy. And there you can see the tip is just a little tip and um, the cap does not post and that really bothers me um, children's markers should should post or else you're gonna lose the lids and they're gonna dry out and uh, I don't know about your kids, but uh, mine would have lost them. Heck, I lose them. <laughs> so, yeah, no posting. So that I don't like, but... So, um, we have 24 here, and we are going to swatch them out and see how they work and what kind of color distribution we've got. So we're starting off with a red. And these are quite, quite juicy. And then we move into the oranges. We just have one red. Okay, I think I'm going to zoom you in. And I will show the tip again now that we're closer. And the rating on it, Stettler 325. Okay, so this looks like your normal orange. And then 
This looks like it's going to be kind of a coral color, but I put coral with oranges. And yeah, this is uh, pretty close to being a pink. This one's kind of a little scratchy. But um, yeah, it's kind of an orangey pink. And one more orange, and this looks like a yellow orange. Definitely is. It's more of an orange yellow. And the, the colors do not match the barrels at all. And then we move on to yellow, and we have your normal bright yellow. Not too bright though. That's actually a nice, that's actually a nice yellow. I like that. Usually when you only have a couple of yellows, it's either too bright, like a highlighter almost, or it's kind of like the deep marigold set and you definitely need to have a lemon yellow if you're only getting one or a couple. Okay, so now the next one here is kind of like a yellow green. And it is. So, we kind of have quite a difference in colors here. A true orange, um, a pinky orange, and a yellow orange. Then we move into one true yellow and a green yellow. So you could say you had three oranges and you could say you have three yellows. Okay, then we move on to greens and most marker sets are high on the greens and the blues. And this set is no different. So here we have what I expected to be a nice bright green and it is. Okay, the next is what looks like it's going to be a our darker green, kind of a forest green from the barrel. And, oh, it's much brighter than that. That is definitely not a dark green. It's more of an emerald green. And then next, from the barrel, looks like kind of maybe like a grass green. And this is a very light green. More of a spring green. It even has a tinge of yellow in it. Then we have what looks like it's going to be a dusty green, kind of like moss or something here, or olive, and yeah, it's not dark enough to be either of those, but it is definitely a dusty green. So all of these greens are bright, we don't have a dark one, and next we have another one that looks like it's going to be bright. And so it is. This one is even like a lime. So these are working nicely. They are a little bit dry. 
Some of them are juicier than others. So now we're moving on to the blues. So that's one, two, three, four, five grains. That's that's good for a set. So now we're moving on to the blues. And this one looks like navy. Oh, the barrel almost makes it look like it's black. And that is a nice shade of blue. I like that. Okay, and we have another dark blue. Looks like it might be brighter. Yes. Definitely. These color nicely. I like this size of a tip. A one millimeter tip is very nice. You can get in the small places, but you can also color in medium sized spaces as well. This one looks like a sky blue. This one's very juicy. Okay, so the barrel is much, much lighter, but I can see the difference between these two, but they are very similar. Okay, so this one looks like it might be sky blue. Okay, so it is. This one is very light. So that's the end of our blues, and that gives us four, and there's a nice range of them. There isn't a really dark one, but this one is on the dark side. And then we have three, two mediums, and a nice light. Now we move on to purple. And there is never much of a selection of purples in a 24 pack. Sometimes you're lucky and get it. So that's a nice, that's a nice purple if you're only going to get one, which is basically what we get. The next one is a purplish pink. This looks like it's going to be our magenta. Yes, it is. So this could be used as a um, as a purple. If you needed a light purple, you could go with that. And you could also use that for a bright pink. But it's definitely our magenta. And then we have one pink, which looks like it's going to be a bright one. It's not as bright as I expected it to be, but it's not too light. So we have a nice pink there. Then we move on to the browns, or what I call the naturals. And we start with a very dark brown. Often in small packs of markers, the browns are lacking, but we have a decent selection here. I think hopefully these will all work for skin tones because that one definitely will. It's our dark brown, but it's not way too dark. And this looks like a reddish brown. Yep, and it is. So. Yeah, that's not going to work for a skin tone. It's too, it's too light. These colors are all on the light side. They're not saturated. Okay, so this looks like a terracotta. Yeah, not really red enough. This is just kind of like brown, dark tan. It's orangish. It's an orangish brown. And finally, we have what looks like it's going to be our tan. And yes, it is. 
So we have two here that we can use for skin tones. This tan and the dark brown. Okay, so four shades of brown is good. Then we have a gray. And we just have one gray. So is it going to be dark or light? Oh no, that is strange. It is a blue-gray. Hmm. Strange when that's the only blue. I mean the only gray. And then we have black. And this is more like a dark gray than it is a black. They're all toned down in color. Like the black isn't even dark enough to be a true black. So um, those are actually pretty colors. There's, uh, we could call these pastel shades here. And um, yeah, they look pretty, don't they? I can tell right away this isn't going to be one of my favorites. <laughs> I would pick them up if they were if they were on sale cheap, but I wouldn't pay regular price for them again. But we will see how it goes as I use them. I may change my mind, but looking at them all together there, they really are pretty colors. And they're quite bright, even though they're subdued colors. And just so you can see, um, this is quite, quite useful. They have this in the thing so that your, uh, so that your pens slip, slip into these. They have a, they have a, a bottom on them and everything. So at least your markers don't slide around if you do decide to keep them in the case. All right, so there we have the Stetler 325s. Thank you for joining me, and uh, if you made it this far, please give me a thumbs up. And if you have any questions or anything that you'd like to see me do, just let me know in the comments. And um, in the meantime, until next time. Bye-bye.